has everything. Bumping and banging. <laughs> Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. ladies and gentlemen, it is always my pleasure yep. to have this man up in here, and that is the one and only legendary George Lopez. George Lopez, welcome back to the neighborhood, my brother. Welcome. It's nice to be back in the neighborhood and with man, the family. Man, you, you got to be one of the hardest working men. I am. And <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, like, get, don't get divorced in California. <laughs> really. oh. man, and, and why would you say that, bro? Because you got to, huh? I got divorced in California. I was married 17 years oh, and wow. lost million. I'm, right now, just saying that, I lost a million dollars. Right? Oh, oh man! Wow. Ouch. But and, and your little one, she just had her birthday. She's 20 now. She's so. 20, and she just hit me up. She wants to get an apartment in Chicago, and she wants me to pay for it. So right. I'm fortunate. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm fortunate. You know, I'm fortunate. Yeah, I'm so blessed. so that keeps you on the road. That I'm keeps blessed. you on television. Uh, I said, "What kind of car you want, mine?" She goes, "I don't know. I'm looking at like Beamers and the new Lexus." I said, "All right." Oh, wow. Well, you look at him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let me know, because I'm going to send you let something totally different. Because I got a 2003 Mini Cooper that has your name all yeah, over it's it. it's all over it. And we can put vanity plates on it. It's, 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 it's crazy. Like, I was thinking about, you know, I turned 55 April 23rd. Man. And, and um, I, I just, my daughter's 20. I, I just, you just can't believe it. You know, right. we're, we're on tour, me, Cedric, and DL. We had a dude that was uh, uh, selling uh, drugs, like back there. You know, you run into all kinds of people. Right. Mm. He 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 was selling Cialis and Viagra and uh, Levitra. Right. And all, 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 <laughs> he knew his audience too. He though. wasn't selling pills. He was uh, selling right. uh, muscle relaxers <laughs> right, and, right. and erectile dysfunction right. pills. <laughs> and there's a line. I got some Cialis right there. I, I bought like four. <laughs> He goes, he goes, and these are from the factory, man. So these, these are strong. Oh, like these, these are from the factory. Hey George, have you ever taken anything like that? Yeah, like Viagra, Cialis, yeah. or anything? Uh, you know, I took one one time, and and uh, what was it? Because you know, when you have appointment, you know, like when they're married, sometimes you have appointment sex. Like you say, hey, it's Wednesday, right? <laughs> you know, is it this? You said this Wednesday or next Wednesday? Yeah, man. <laughs> So, you know, That's why I tell my wife, schedule me in. She didn't say, don't jack off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't, I won't but yeah. you're not going to be happy. I won't keep the bullets in here. And uh, I, I took one one night uh, for appointment sex, and then my wife and I got in a fight, so I stayed there like with, oh. this, with, with this thing for four days. You couldn't roll over. You couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> you're almost like lockdown, man. You got to wear basketball you're shorts. <laughs> lockdown. Does it really work? Because I guess you, it does, huh? You're not talking, but then you're hard. Usually when you talk and kiss, you get hard. But then you, now you, you look at each other, you, you don't say anything, and you got and you're hard, <laughs> knocking over. So lamps. it's awful. Like you know, she's looking at you with like completely like I don't want to ever talk to you again. And then you're hard. So what's the Seattle for? The yin and yang. Yeah, up. The yin and yang. Just in case. Yeah, just to feel young. Hey, George, just watching the show, man. Like, is it hard for George Lopez to to date now? Because it's true, everybody knows. I think George Lopez. I think it is. You know, I, I, I you know, and the, the the worst part is, I only want to see people once. You know, right. like I'm so disconnected that I'm I only want to see people once. Like I, I would have been a good flight attendant because I would have made you feel all welcome. <laughs> then you'd never see me again. They go, what if that flight attendant's here? The one we had when we went to Cabo. Right? Yeah. Like, 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 not you get at a all. pillow, you think fall, you pick it up, here you drop your water. <laughs> right. And then second yeah. time it'd be like, just sit your ass down. Right. Right? <laughs> huh? I see you. I see you. Do you think we're all a, thirsty? Do you think there's another relationship for George Lopez? I don't think so. Really though. No, I I've, I've uh it, 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 check this out. You know, people do walks of shame in the morning mm -hmm. and stuff like that. My, I, I just rescued a dog, uh, Owen. I call him Van Owen because of Van Halen. And that dude does the walk of shame. A chihuahua walks of shame on me in my bed. Like, he and I are in bed. Uh -huh. In the middle of the night, he'll get up and he'll be like, Creep away. And, and he'll go downstairs <laughs> and sleep in a chair. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and and they said to me, oh, he's a lover. He's a cuddle. People that watch when you him. you got him? When I got him. No, he's watching. They send me pictures of him. He's on the lady's lap. He's sitting his ears. He's like caressing, licking her. This dude in the middle of the night gets up. And I, my bed's pretty high, so he risks, you know, blowing out his head. <laughs> Every night. He jumps off, patink, and you just hear tick, 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 down, down, and the furthest part of the house, like, he's like, that motherfucker won't find me over here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to hide in his pants. He, he leaves. He leaves. Oh, George, what do you think that is, bro? Just disconnection, man. He's uh. like, he, 
he, I, I'm almost getting ready to give him to the dog sitter because he looks like he's having such a great time. Oh. Like, I'm like, you know what, lady? You can keep him. Like with somebody else? He's little, yeah. He's having Take a great her. time. He's chasing a ball, plays all day. <laughs> they, took a, they took a picture of him with a toy. The toy's in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, hey, like, man. Damn. He all on your itinerary. Like, Can't wait till you leave for the yeah. comedy <laughs> get down. Is he leaving? Like, and then even my assistant said, I think she, he, he should stay there till the end of the month because today I'm not going to be home. Right. I wasn't home last night. I had a party. Uh, and she's like, I think you should. You Wait, should how are you not home well, last night? Yeah. You had a party. Well, I'm not gonna be home today. Last night. <laughs> okay. Listen, not home for him. listen. I, I was to say I missed a hell of a party. I, I, yeah. have, I have the greatest parties. Like I don't yeah. want nobody there. But when I do, <laughs> when they are there, they're great parties. They're hey, great man. parties. Do, do you do you prefer being alone, George Lopez? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Is that is that also where comedy your comedy come from? Like, you know, you don't have to depend on somebody else showing up. You know, like every time we book you, you're on time. You don't have a comedy partner and you're not part of a group. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Uh you 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 know, I, I grew up alone. It's funny, man. The, the, my therapist said, Hey, you know, it's not sad at fifty. He goes, At sixty, it's sad to always be alone. At seventy, it's really sad. Right. So he says, So you have to uh Make connections. I haven't seen him since he told me that. Right, right. So this dude, don't judge me. Like, only God can judge me. Like, and you're not you. God. You, know, it's like, you don't know me, fool. Man. At any point, hey, did you try and get on like dating apps or just to see what they were all about? Yeah, I, 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 I did, and no. <laughs> But you know what? I was telling somebody like this: the first time in your life, like you're young and you call mm -hmm. a girl, she answers the phone. Hello, you're like, hey, what, what are you doing? Want to go see a movie or something? There was a lady that lives in the desert. Like I have a house in the desert, and I call her up and I said, hey, uh, are you around this weekend? She goes, oh, I'd love to see you, but I have my grandkids. Oh. I'm like, oh, get la chica. She sounds so old. <laughs> yeah, and, my gr and my great granddaughter's coming over. It's her seventh birthday. I'm like, How old are you? Hey, George, do you date younger if you are dating? No, because it looks bad. Hey, Maria, your dad's here. Right? It's awful, man. How it looks you, awful. How do you find this, though, man? Because you got to have some kind of companionship. And, and plus, you George Lopez. Yeah, man, come on. Listen, I'm almost getting ready to just live with some vato. Right? <laughs> you know, Louis. Louis, me and Louis living yeah, together. Sure. You're living with his mom right, right now, bro. Sitting right there, arm Say in yeah, arm, man. watching <laughs> House of Cards. What do you watch now, Louis? <laughs> Netflix and chill, bro. Yeah. Hey, Louis, hey, Louis, get me up here too, love. <laughs> yeah. Please. Hey, you better, you better take care of those heels. Uh -huh. <laughs> scratching my leg. Hey, George, so do, is it just you and the dogs living together now, or the dog? No, man, the dog, yeah, but he, he takes off. Right. <laughs> you know, when you get home and you turn the TV on and everything's kind of warm in the house, that's when the dog be like, hey, man, I missed you. Right, right, right. He's yeah. home. When you open the door and a dog sees you and turns around, like he opens the door and he's like, oh. I'm like, man. Yeah. Oh, damn, like, back. look who's back. He just doesn't yeah. like you. So, so, this, so this show is perfect because in the show, I adopt a dog. The guy thinks I mm -hmm. want a pit bull. The guy really thought I wanted a pit bull. Yeah. And the dog doesn't connect with me. And then I meet a girl. We go hiking. And she doesn't think. She, she asked me, like, oh, who, who are you? You know, what do you do? And I said, oh, you know, I, I do, you know, this and that, you know. And then she's like, where are you from, George? And, you know, we're up at the near yeah, the yeah, observatory. Yeah. You just point. So these hills, right? So yeah. I point. I go, over over that plateau, there's a Latino community. <laughs> yeah. Over the ravine. Over the ravine. <laughs> you got everybody flipping to TV land. Yeah, Snoop, man, Snoop was in, yeah. TV land is uh, making a, uh, what do they call it, pivoting, and they're trending. And yeah, man. Uh, uh, so so they, um, you know, they're hip now. Everybody's uh, kind of tuning in Do you in know what there. this reminds me of, George? You know how, how you'll see, like, now I think everybody would kind of follow, like, hey man, I gotta get a show over there as well. Right. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Because you guys are doing it right. And the show is Lopez. Now let me ask you this. Why does every show I don't know. with branding, you make sure that it's it's Lopez tonight, it's George Lopez, it's Lopez, is you know Because you, I don't want Eric Estrada to ever work. I heard yeah, that. Man. Keep your foot on his neck. Him and Paul Rodriguez. Yes. <laughs> Keep your foot on his neck. Carlos Mencia, all those guys carpooling. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, man, a, is, there, is there a comedy, so-called comedy, like, beef or anything like that? Or, Well, beef from them because they you're, you're successful. Right. Like, Fluffy doesn't like me, but you, I'll take the tail of the tape with that dude. Mm -hmm. You look at what I've done, and you look at what he's done. I, right. I, don't, I don't compete with anybody. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. But if anybody wants to be negative towards me, then you're doing it by yourself. Right. So that's Damn. the one thing I don't do negative is I don't compete with anybody. Really, though? So if George Lopez, and it, this sounds so like a regular, if you weren't doing comedy, what would George Lopez, 
What I would, would your life be? I would be at Home Depot. I'd be the guy that brings you the chainsaw after you leave your driver's license. I'd be like, here you go. <laughs> right. I'm to be back Saturday <laughs> right. afternoon. Here you go. <laughs> La señora, see, she, okay, she wants to borrow uh, a chainsaw. <laughs> yes, and she'll bring it back Saturday. <laughs> Hey man, shipping we and talk receiving. About I would have worked in shipping and receiving in Northridge. How great is the cast? The casting is great. Amazing bro. on your show, Lopez. Bro. Amazing, amazing. Because you know, in like real life, we, and let me tell you, and I don't mean to cut you off, George, but with the first moment, you huh. knew exactly each character yeah. mm-hmm. on that show mm-hmm. and who that character yep. was. You didn't have to over-explain it. None of that, bro. And it fell, and within the first few minutes, it fell right into what that show is. You know, I had a dispute with my guy over the trees, my neighbor, and I started the show with it. And uh, uh, this guy says to me, uh, I'm a little disappointed in you, which is exactly what the guy says to me on the show. And I said, well, why, why is that? Because you cut your trees. I said, uh, well, I said, they're in my property. Yeah, but they went into my yard. I said, no, they didn't. He goes, yeah, they went in my yard. I said, listen, you, you think you have a problem with me? Go get a lawyer. And he looks at me, and I said, yeah. You know what, dude? I said, I didn't fucking buy this house, so I could ask you if I could cut my own trees. Right. And I said, and and I'll put a Mexican in each one of these fucking branches with a fucking <laughs> saw, dude, every right. day. <laughs> so I said, go home before you get hurt, then. Go home before you get hurt. And does that become parts of the show? Yeah, completely. How how connected is Lopez on TV land? It's a, it's almost 100%. Lopez. It's almost 100%. One, I was walking around. So Los- you can do this show forever if you want. There's yeah, a, there's yes, I... I, I uh, TV line would be nice. So there's a raggedy ass car, like a fender's a different color. The doors open. He's got like wrappers in there. He's got lo- tools coming out the back. And I'm I'm walking, and this lady says to me, "I'm not gonna tell you again to move your car." <laughs> Is this real no. life? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hey. I'm not gonna tell you again to move your car. So we could be anybody. Like in the first show. The guy tries to, I give a valet ticket to Antonio Villaraigosa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. And I said, vamos up which I love Picale. Hey, George, Pícale. does that happen to you where people don't know George Lopez? Like, if it's airport, first class, like, we know you. Listen, I was getting on JetBlue, and I had a suit bag, and I said to the, she was African-American. Uh-oh. Uh, flight attendant. I said, I said, is there a place I can hang this? Uh, y- y- this is for first class customers. And I said, how do you know I'm not in first class? Mm. And then she looked at me and she was like, and she was bringing me drinks and peanuts. I said, listen, I'm not going to out you. I'm letting you off the hook. Right. And she goes, thank you. Damn. She, she, I knew that. That's crazy. She knew that she had yeah. done that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You don't write a letter to JetBlue and try to get free mileage? No, or? no, no. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> hey, but the first time I bought a house, you know, your first time you buy a house, I think we knew each other. It was down in Sherman Oaks right there. And uh, and they had to get fumigated, you know. So it's a big deal. So I'm standing there. With a coffee cup and the, and they have that big fumigation tent. They're open. They're, they're unfolding it in the front yard. And then I'm standing there like this. And the guy comes around the side of the house. He goes, "Hey, this ain't no time to drink coffee. This the house isn't gonna fumigate itself." He thought I was going to fumigate. Oh, hey. George, let me tell you, man. I was getting some work done at my crib, right? And I walked in, and there was a dude upstairs, and he. I was doing some work in my bathroom, and he was welding something on on the floor. And so when I walked in, he was welding on my carpet. So I was just standing there, and I was looking at him. And then my man looked up at me, went back to welding. And at this time, we weren't even living there. So it wasn't like pictures of me on the wall, or you know what I'm saying? And so then he looked back up at me, and he was arc welding. So he took his his, uh, arc welding (laughs) stuff off, and he said, may I help you? And I was like, yeah. I say, And dude got an Uh, attitude with me like, what am I doing in this house? Uh. And he was like, "May I help you?" And I was like, "Yeah." I said, "What are you doing?" He was like, "I'm I'm welding right there." And he almost put me to work. Oh. <laughs> and so I told him, I said, "You know what?" I said, "Well, why are you welding right here?" He asked me, "Why are you worried about it?" Oh, I said, God. "This is my house." Oh, man, that motherfucker <laughs> face, <laughs> George. <laughs> and I fired him on the spot. Oh, yeah, he didn't know how to finish up the welding, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just as a homeowner, yeah, my man, dude, he looked at me like, da, 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 da. you know what Damn. I'm saying? Like every time oh, you man. step on the solder, there you remember him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That now in the show, they always talk about there's lead ups to a Ve- Las Vegas residents. Yes. Are, would George Lopez do something like that? Uh, you know what? I don't. I, I don't think I so. I would man. love to see that, bro. I think the comedy get down. We thought about doing a residency in Las Vegas. Right. But, uh, you know, Eddie Griffin, uh, I saw Eddie Griffin. He's like, don't bring your punk ass to Las Vegas. I really? said, they're like turf wars. Wow, really? Because, you know, a residency takes away from another dude. Yeah. Right, right, so right, I think right. So right. I think next season, when we start, 
I think we're going to have like a, I, I wanted to have a shootout in the In-N-Out parking lot. <laughs> Between me and Eddie Griffin and Carrot Top and Elton John. Everybody, everybody, is Eddie in Vegas? Sh- Shania Twain rolls through. Is Pop-pop. Eddie in Vegas? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know like, Eddie was there. Have beef in the in and out parking yeah. lot. All the resident people at the same time just throwing chingasos right there. Hey, man, but <laughs> it would hilarious. seem like I would love to have a George Lopez there <laughs> because I know what I would do when I get there. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, and, and I thought with the show, I was like, man, something coming for George in Las Vegas, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Santana and I are talking about doing something, uh, oh. touring and stuff like that. Oh. What keeps you working like that, though, George? You know what? I... I uh, you know, I've been doing it for so long, and I really, I really love it, man. I enjoy, I enjoy it. You know, mm-hmm. it's the only, and and really, if I didn't do it, there's nothing else in the day that I would do <laughs> to occupy any time. You just, I mean, I can't sit in that chair that long, dude. Really? I just gotta do where it. where do you do practice some. your material? Do you, or do you practice it? Because no. I know some comedians like will try to go to a dive bar or something. Yeah, no, not not me. Okay. No, like you know, I have a Donald Trump line. I say he mm-hmm. he calls Mexicans. Uh, Rapists and uh, criminals and rapists. And I said, so next time I see him, I'm going to fuck him and rob him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, speaking yeah. of Donald Trump, we can't have you here because you're one oh of those cats, God. man. I follow you That's on social cool, media. Yep. You don't hold your tongue when it comes to Donald Trump. And he man. won't block me. I, I'm not sure what you have to do to get Donald Trump to block you. This fool, man, with the abortion stuff. If he oh, was in a bar, if he was in a bar, they'd cut him off. Like, they'd go, come on, man, yeah. you got to be. Right, 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 man. I don't right, want man. no Muslims in this country. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, buddy, take yeah, it buddy, easy. Hey, home. my wife is more beautiful than your wife, eh? Your wife is ugly. You, uh, all right, cut. T- I'm not one Mexican. I'm going to build a wall to keep They're Mexicans like, man, out. Get your ass Those out of here. people come out for the kitchen. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your mother! Hey, oh man, <laughs> when Trump first announced that he was running. I couldn't believe it. Man. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that you could segregate and blame. I think he doesn't. I think he thinks all Latinos are Mexicans. Mm-hmm. Like, right, right, yes. right, right. Like he doesn't make a difference between. And then uh, when he went to the border, he didn't really go to the border. I would think he went to Durango, to, right, right. somewhere, uh, yeah. Hidalgo. <laughs> and then all the Mexicans were moving the chairs around. They're like, hey, Mr. Trump, sit, sit down right here, Trump. Yeah, yeah. Sit down right here. Hey, Rudy, what are you doing? He doesn't like Mexicans. So what? I don't like him either. Oh, Trump. Oh. <laughs> Some dude gave a stool out from another dude so man, he could sit crazy. down, man. And, and, and those hats. I'm making my own hats that say, make America chingon again. I'll send some more. Man, let me yeah, ask you this. What do, what do you think make America great again? What do you think that means, George Lopez? I think it means make America white again. Yeah. I think it means let's let's separate the people. Let's have, you know, what the, let's have it the way we used to have it when mm-hmm. it was just us, mm-hmm. you know? Make it great again. Mm-hmm. That is scary. Man. It is great. This country is great. A- and, you know, you, you have to, if you're looking at, like, Migrants taking jobs or those jobs, those jobs, nobody wants those. Right. Jobs. They're ants. They're like worker ants, man. And they and they're needed. Mm-hmm. You know, if you take all the Latinos out of the Salinas and Gilroy and Watsonville and out here, you won't see a blueberry. But, hey, you won't see a blueberry for the rest of your life. You won't see a raspberry. You go to the markets right now, it'll just be, it'll be nothing there. Just one lady crying. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the lettuce don't come. Right. <laughs> How do you really feel about... You have about- a tomato? There's one in, our, in Agora. <laughs> How do you really feel about Trump? I hate him. Right. Mm-hmm. Have you ever met him? Yeah, I played golf with him in 2007. The, you know, and people say that this is kind of, not a different Trump, but I asked Russell Simmons the same thing. He was like, man, I, this guy now, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I, I can't... Yeah, I so, so he wants to divide. So for me to say I hate him, I really don't hate anybody, but I dislike him. Mm-hmm. And I never had that. Like, he creates hate mm-hmm. and right. hatred and dislike. Like right. that's not that's not politics. That's politics used to be about issues. Yeah. It's not about. And we still don't know what his his so called issues are. Right. No. No substance on the policies. Whatsoever. You know what? There's two two of the greatest answers are when Raul Castro, when the guy stood up and goes, "Will you release the political prisoners that you're holding in Cuban prison?" He goes, "Show me the list." Right. Right. Show me the list. Like that's the, <laughs> that's the show me the list. When they said Donald Trump, you hire undocumented workers to work in your hotels. He, he goes, "Give me their names." Right. One, two, three, <laughs> four. He he does. He paid a million dollar fine for in in Florida for hiring people of mm-hmm. undocumented because it's so hot in the summer. He said that they're more cheaper. They're cheaper and they're used to the heat. That's why he hired them. Man, what do you think? Did I ever the... tell my Mickey Mouse story? No, no. Oh, Lord, All right, no. So, so check this out. So I'm doing a thing with uh, uh, Michael Eisner of Disney, like mm-hmm. Wonderful World of Disney opening. And uh, he's giving me a, a thing. And, and um, someone had told me that, that Disney hires uh, Latinos, people from Guatemala, from, from hot countries, 
to be the, the characters because because uh, they can take the heat in the summer. So while I'm there, Mickey Mouse is, is in uniform, and we're just standing there, the camera, right? And I said, hey, um, are, you, are you Latino? And he, he hit the little white hands, and he goes like this, like, I don't know. It's like, it's Mickey Mouse. He mm -hmm. can't talk. Right, right, right. And I said, because uh, um, uh, they say they hire a bunch of Latinos, you know? So he's standing there, Mickey Mouse. He looks around to see if Michael Eisner's there, and he goes like this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he did a samba. He did a samba. Yeah, oh man! Like, and I said, "What about Minnie?" And then Minnie's standing there. She goes like this, and then she starts going. Yeah. They're both Damn. Latinos. Yes. Both Latinos. That was awesome. How important is do you think the Latino vote for mm -hmm. this this election year that we have here, George? It's always important. I mean, look what it did for yeah. Barack Obama. Yeah, it's always man. important. And and you know now kids and stuff like that. That it's very important to. Uh, to, to vote, you know, it never used to be like, you know, when we were growing up, my grandmother always used to make me vote. And then uh, uh, we'd always go vote. Like that was one thing that she uh, constantly was on to vote. But th this election is uh, it's critical. Clearly, really, though. Where, 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 where did you go now? I mean, what's do, do, have you endorsed anyone or I endorsed uh, Bernie, Bernie Sanders, Sanders, but really just to I mean, I, I, it's cool. I can't pay any more taxes. I mean, it's ridiculous. But right. uh, so we'll figure it out. But I really just just did it just to get the awareness out mm -hmm. and have people mm -hmm. vote. You know, Voto Latino people would come and register people at, at my shows and stuff like that. that. So, That's cool. Yeah. George, you say you're a little hungover. I had a party do, at my house. Do, you, know. do you still tap the bottle a couple times? Because I know at one point you just like, man. You know what? Not, not on occasion. Right, 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 right. When I go, I go but all It's not way. like Frank the Tank. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I go, like if I have one, I have 10. So yeah, I try yeah, not yeah. to have I try not to have any. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. So this, but when you Pulled back. First you stopped, then you pulled back. Now you know where tolerance is at, so on and so forth. Did you feel like... It was boring without it. See, yeah. Mm. It was boring without it. I would sit around, man, I'd be like, all right. <laughs> like, yeah. Wake up in the morning, you're like... Mm. Did you feel funny still? Should I go to Coffee Bean or should <laughs> I not? <laughs> like, yeah, should I have a scone bean. or should I have a blueberry muffin? What about, were you it's drinking just, before you got on stage? The, no. Okay, no, no, okay. No. But these dudes, like, the tour now is conducive to marijuana and alcohol and yeah. all that stuff is crazy. Really? Because it's like being in a band. Right, 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 right. Five of you guys, yeah. and then you all go out That's together so at the end, and you everybody, you get everything you want. <laughs> Bottle of Grey Goose, Patron Platinum, you got mixes, you got things, you got weed, there's stuff in there. They come and smoke weed in my room. I'm like, thanks for <laughs> smelling on my suits. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, is it with George Lopez, man, I always say that, like, even with me in radio, there's a thing called the enoughs. And when I say the enoughs, I got to be black enough, brown enough, oh. funny enough, this enough, this enough. There's so many enoughs that other people don't have to have these That's enoughs. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? George Lopez, do you feel like you got to have those enoughs as oh. well? Listen, you, you know, the first show was a little bit of a fluke, you know, and then people in, on social media or people will, will think it's a failure. It went 120 weeks. There's never been a show like it in right. the history of TV. I remember, man, you talking about the last George Lopez the, show? The, the George, yeah. Yeah, the, and I remember, man, when we, it was four, and we was like, man, remember we were camping, four, let's get through these four. Four. You know what I'm saying? They get through four, and then LA Times, is this the one? I said, oh, that's a good art reading it. Awful. Horrible review. Horrible review of the show. Horrible review of the history of Latino sitcoms. Horrible. With this show, The Hollywood Reporter gave me a good review, gave the show a great review, loved the actors around it. The LA Times gave me a good review, which they never have. So it's a little bit out of body mm -hmm. to be me and look at that and see and think, wow, man, they like this show, but they never liked anything that I do. I mean, it's crazy. Wow. You go to New York and Howard Stern, AP, all those people, man, they, all every interview, oh, like Curb Your Enthusiasm, it's real, it's honest yeah, with the situation. And I'm like, I can't believe it. So I feel like a fighter that everybody thought was done, and then he mm -hmm. wins the title again. Yeah, Do you feel the enoughs when people say, man, like, like people look at George and you got to be Mexican enough. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Also, you got to be Caucasian right. enough to get to get over here. Then you got to be black and brown enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Funny enough. Like It's just a world of that, man. It's just a world of finger pointing, a world of negativity, a world of nobody being really happy for you, man. If you listen, if if... If you succeed, you should be happy for anybody who succeeds, mm -hmm. not the negative. You know, mm -hmm. the, to be negative is you're putting the the, the the darkness in your own heart, yep. man. Like, I don't wish anybody bad, you know, and I came a long way. I mean, you know, you know me mm -hmm. a long time. I've come a complete 
circle twice to, to be able to say that. Like, I don't compete with anybody. I don't worry about how much money I have. I don't worry about the future. I, I live in the moment, mm -hmm. you know, and I never did that before. Man, do you feel like you're in a good place right now? George? Yeah, I do. I do. I'm alone. The dog won't right. be around me, but that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I just got some new golf clubs. <laughs> Man, so your golf game, like, yeah, is golf you know a, a getaway for you? You know, it, it's, it, like, I, I play with Eddie Van Halen, like, we're playing yeah. Wednesday. So we became friends because Van Halen, the same thing, like, like you don't have a lot of close friends. Mm -hmm. and, and when you tour or you go, nobody thinks you're ever around. So, he, you know, I got him, we're members at Lakeside, and we start playing and talking and hanging, and it's fun. I took him to a Laker game. You know, I'm going to Kobe's last game. Oh, oh yeah. You know. We got to go do that together, George. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Let all me all tell Arsenio. Yeah. <laughs> Break it to him. Listen, Arsenio. Go ahead now. This is Kobe's last year, man. Oh, my God. Listen, I, I, I can't, I can't, I don't know what to expect mm -hmm. when, when you go. I think it's going to be, a, I mean, the love that they have for this dude, mm -hmm. what he's meant to the league. Are you going to his last game? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Damn. man. Yeah. And this, this is honest. I told somebody that the, it, in this 20-year relationship, you know, and I've known him for like 10 or 12, maybe, no, more, like yeah. 12 years or so. Uh, I have never loved anyone more at the end of a relationship than Kobe Bryant. Wow. Like, like I started digging him, and then at <laughs> now, I'm like more in love. So when he leaves, yeah, it's, so it's, it's when he hurt. leave, are you still a Laker fan? Are you a Kobe fan right now? No, no, I'm a Laker fan. Okay, I don't go to Clipper games. Really? I don't. No, I won't. Do you feel like you talked yourself out of a Clipper game? Like, yeah, do you ever nobody wants to see me over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, seeing, that would be seeing somebody in a gay bar. What's about to do in a gay bar? <laughs> do, do you ever want to go? You like, damn, I done said so much, man. Like, damn. There's a couple times I wanted to go. <laughs> yeah. and I was watching it on TV. I said, this guy looks like fun. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have to remember the. The, the days of our of our fun, yeah, yeah man. You know, like um, I think Jordan Farmer, uh, Jordan Farmer. Yeah. Oh, uh, he was. I think he played for the Clippers, right? Did he play I for the Clippers? If he did, for a second? Farmer, Farmer's I think for his, yeah, he was the Lakers. Well, we he was definitely Lakers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So he, he was talking about playing for the Lakers and a little bit negative at Dodger Stadium. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, hey, man, I can hear you. Don't say that. Those times were any. Those were great times. Don't right. say like it's bougie. Right. Da, uh, uh, yeah. No, no, no. And I wasn't even in the conversation. I put myself. <laughs> hey! I put myself. In, hey, hey, man. I can hear you, dude. <laughs> Do not talk about 2010 like it was awful. Hey, man. What about we won what the about the Dodgers, man? I see you. Yeah, are you gonna oh, have time yeah. to go this? You season? see Puig, man. What's texting that? last night at the liquor game in the front row wearing some gold oh. <laughs> a black t-shirt with gold <laughs> stars and <laughs> barbs and things on tell him tell him tight <laughs> tight like the nipple tore the shirt yeah. <laughs> you know the nipple tore the shirt but my man Puig he too sexy for the building brother yeah, oh is. man yeah <sighs> Man, this dude, man. George, can you, like, let's say the... Uh, Andy Garcia has to talk to him. A Mexican can't talk right, to a Cuban. Be. Okay, okay. So um, we're going to point gonna, somebody else. We're going to tell him. But yeah, you yeah. understand. Like, amigo, ponte de cuerpo, pepe. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to hey, stay. Cuídate. Cuídate, Cuídate, hermano. Can you go to a Dodger game without Dodger tickets? Like, if you just yes. pulled up and got off the freeway? You know what? I, I landed one night. They play, they were they were in extra innings, and, and I was watching the end of the game, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go over there. And... Um, I, I walked in and sat behind home plate. He didn't is have a ticket. He's a legend there. They yeah. everyone loves him. Everyone that works there, <laughs> they, they love to see George there. You were there for opening day last. Year, I'm going right? opening yeah. day this year too. Yes. Yeah. And it's Vin Scully's last year. No yeah. man. He, oh. Oh, another one talk about All Kobe the last Bryant. years, man. Vin Scully, yeah, man. Man, man. What are we living in right now? We starting to hurting. see it, bro. You know what they're gonna be? This town when Kobe's gone and Vin Scully's gone. If you're walking down the street, some dudes are gonna take your shoes, tear your shirt, and run off. Like they're gonna be throwing things. Man. Cars are just going to be throwing things. Over. You're driving on the wrong side of the street. People will be going <laughs> yeah. to the markets and taking things out. <laughs> it's going to be lawless here. Over, Jack. They're just cutting trees, running on the freeway. <laughs> Gee, kids Might naked well. with no diapers. <laughs> and we, we're going to have to do the remember wins. It's going to be awful. It's going to yeah. be awful. Remember wins, bro. It's going to be awful. Man, who, who's going to follow Vince Scully? They should just oh. have nothing. Just, right. add, just yeah. nothing. Like an automatic automatic And it's going to be hard voice. for the next one that come in. It's, yeah. it's so hard. It's going to be hard. You know what they would be wise if they just got a voiceover guy, like a sound alike. Yeah. Where, if you don't know what I'm saying? Just get just, him to do a bunch of voices and then piece it together just, like he really just, is there. No, I'll just get a sound alike and just go right in. Um, Big Boy neighborhood, hey, George Lopez, man. George, definitely want to thank yeah, you for coming man. in thank here, you. man. I could talk I to you, you all day, brother. No, yeah, thank you. Man, I love you. I appreciate you, man. George, how many black suits do you own? Uh, about 75. About what? <laughs> oh, man, where's Michelle? Really?
About 75. About Damn. 70. How do you know which black suit to put on? Depends how fat I am. Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the body knows. Do you have certain sections in your closet like, okay, this one I was up 10 I pounds, the, this one I was down 10 I pounds? I have a PG section, pinche gordo, and I have the <laughs> F and PG. Really? Flaco right. and pinche gordo. <laughs> do you ever it. put on, I remember, do you say at one time you were, uh, you, had taken, you had taken something, George, do you remember that? It was some, a sleep aid? Oh, man, I took an Ambien. Yeah, man, can you explain this story real quick? I took an Ambien, right? So I took an Ambien, and uh, um, <laughs> there's two parts to it. I took an Ambien, and I was watching a history of black Hollywood. And there's, a, <laughs> and there's a woman there, and she says, you know, there's just been so much racism and the mistreatment of black people. And I go, I had a lot of them on my show. I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> yeah. I said, I had a lot of them. I thought we were having a conversation. It was TV. <laughs> Man. I said I had a lot. I said I had a lot on my show. <laughs> you can't put that on me. I thought she was in front of me. Oh my god, that's crazy. And, Listen and to this one. I'm in a suit, Listen white shirt, this. tie, dressed up like that, hair dressed. My wife comes in. She goes, "Where are you going?" I said, "I got a show in Las Vegas. I got to go right now. I got about an hour. I'm gonna go to the show." She goes, "George." I said, "No. What's up? What's going on?" I said, "I got a show to do, and it's Thursday. I got a show." She goes, honey, you're at home. You're upstairs in the bedroom. You don't have a show. What? <laughs> yeah. My man got up, got, got dressed. Got dressed. And thought he had a show. Put the <laughs> put the legendary cool. black suit on. I thought I was backstage in Las Vegas. I was going to walk nice. to the show. That's hilarious. That is hilarious, wow. man. Don't take that. Yeah. 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 No, George Lopez, Side I effects. love you. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Don't forget, man, every Wednesday night. TV Land, it's our dude, Lopez. Make thank sure you guys you. watch. It is a great show. George Lopez, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you yes, for sir. always being down with the neighborhood, and God bless you, my brother. God bless you. There it is, George Lopez up in here, man. Big boy Big neighborhood. Boy.